Hey, this is Professor Perez from Saddleback College. Today, we're going to do multiplication with negative numbers. And of course, we can't get started without our student semester, and that's Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? Yeah. Yeah, you better be. <laughs> okay, today we're doing multiplication with negative numbers. That's right. Now, before you watch this video, you should watch the video on absolute value because in that video, we talked about the concept of opposites, and we're going to be using that concept in this video. Anyway, let's get started right here with a review one times three. There we go, Charlie. All right. Now, pay attention, Charlie. Remember, what did one times three actually mean? One plus one plus one. Yeah, one plus one plus one. Remember, multiplication was presented that way in this class. Multiplication is really addition. So, how do you figure out one plus one plus one, Charlie? One plus one plus one. It's three. Okay. Now, why we're showing it this way is so that we can understand that a positive times a positive will always be positive. Because if you're multiplying two positive numbers together, you're always going to be adding positive numbers, and therefore, your answer will always be positive. That is why a positive times a positive is positive. All the time. Okay, Charlie. Now, let's do one with a negative one. Ooh, don't get scared. Here we go, Charlie. Negative one times three. Now, what does that mean, Charlie? Negative one times three. Negative one plus negative one? Plus That's negative right. One. Negative one plus negative one plus negative one. Now, you should know how to add negative numbers. Remember, that was a video you should have watched before you're watching this one anyway. Now, some people like to see negative one plus negative one plus negative one, or some change the addition to subtraction and write negative one, subtract one, subtract one. Doesn't matter. Everybody, somebody prefers the top one, some of you prefer the bottom one. Anyway, how do you add a negative one and a negative one and a negative one on a number line? Here it is. Negative one plus a negative one plus a negative one is negative three. So notice here, hey, whenever you take a negative times a positive, like this one, negative times a positive, you're always going to be adding negative numbers together, right? So negative times a positive means you're going to add negative numbers together and the result will always be negative. So that means that a negative times a positive will always be negative. There you go. And now, by the commutative property, Charlie, which said A times B is the same as B times A, then it must be true, hey, if a negative times a positive is negative, then a positive times a negative will also be negative. That's right. Now, one thing to notice here, Charlie, here we go. We're going to talk about the opposite again. Notice, if you multiply negative one times three, you get negative three. Now, Charlie, what's the opposite of three? Negative three. It is this negative three. And so what we're seeing here is that multiplying a number by negative one is the same as taking the opposite of the number. Okay? Opposite of three is negative three. Negative one times three is negative three. It's the same thing. So, the opposite of three is negative three. Now, using mathematical symbols, remember, the opposite of three is negative three. There you go. And so, we just found out multiplying number by negative one, right? It's the same as taking the opposite, so negative one times three must be negative three. So there you go. All right, Charlie, let's do this with another number now. Let's do negative one times five. Negative one times five, Charlie, means what? Negative one plus negative one plus negative one plus negative one plus negative one. Okay, that's right. And remember, it's the same as this. Negative one, subtract one, subtract one, subtract one, subtract one, however you want to look at it. Okay, what's our result though, Charlie? Negative five. Negative five, that's right. Because negative one plus a negative one plus a negative one plus a negative one plus a negative one is negative five. There you go. And so once again, notice, Charlie, what's the opposite of five? Negative five. Negative five. And we're saying, hey, negative one times five is giving us negative five. But again, we also see that negative times a positive is a negative. And by the commutative property, it must be true. Positive times negative is negative, and there you go. So, going back to this opposite concept. Multiplying number by negative one is the same as taking the opposite of the number, because negative one times five gives you negative five. There you go. Okay, opposite of five is negative five. Using the symbols, the opposite of five is negative five. And most of us like to look at it as, hey, this is the same as negative one times five, right? That's what it is. Negative one times five is 
negative 5. So there you go. All right. Now, we're going to attempt to explain why is it that a negative times a negative is a positive, and that's a tough one. But here's my approach. Okay, here we go, Charlie. Let's start with this. Charlie, from our last video, what is the opposite of negative 5? 5. It was 5, right? The opposite of this negative 5 is that 5 over there, right? Okay, using symbols, how do we write this? The opposite of negative 5, okay, is 5. There we go. Now, we just learned that multiplying a number by negative 1 is the same as taking the opposite, right? Okay, and so negative 1 times negative 5 must be what, Charlie? Positive 5. 5. Now, sometimes we look at this as the double negative rule. Because the opposite of a negative number, the opposite of any negative number will always be positive. We call that the double negative rule. Or we can simply look at it, hey, if you take a negative number and multiply by a negative number, like here, negative 1 times negative 5, you're always going to end up with a positive number. Therefore, a negative times a negative is a positive. <sighs> That's my approach. So, anyway, if you don't like this, well, you can talk to your parents, your children, your facilitator, your teacher, your tutor, and ask them to explain to you why a negative times a negative is a positive. And if you hear something good, email it to me. I'd like to hear it. Anyway, let's move on here. Our result, negative times a negative is a positive. And that's because the opposite of a negative number will always be positive. So there you go. So let's just do some problems here. Charlie, negative 1 times negative 8. Is the answer positive or negative? Positive. It is positive, right? And the answer is positive 8. Very nice. How about 3 times a negative 8? This answer will be negative. Negative, and it's a what? 24. Negative 24. Very nice. Now, here we have 3 times a negative 5 times a negative 2. Remember, multiplication. Everything is being multiplied. We can multiply in any order. So we can kung fu this by first multiplying what, Charlie? Negative 5, negative 2. Negative 5 times negative 2 is equal to what? 10. Positive 10. Because negative times negative is a positive, right? Bring down your 3. And 3 times 10 is what, Charlie? 30. 30. Very nice there, Charlie. Okay, let's do one more. Here's a negative 4 times a negative 5 times a negative 2. Now, don't get scared. Remember, Charlie, negative times a negative is what? Positive. Positive. So, if we try some Kung Fu on this, which two numbers are we going to multiply first? Negative 5, negative 2. Negative 5 times negative 2, now, which is a positive 10. And bring down your negative. Now, notice here, we have three negatives, right? To start with. And what's negative 4 times 10, Charlie? Negative 40. Negative 40. So, your answer was negative. When you have three negatives multiplied together, your answer is always going to be negative. Because two of them are going to pair up and give a positive result. And the one that's left over, negative times a positive, gives you this negative result. In this 3 times negative 5 times negative 2, when you multiply negative 5 and negative 2, that gives you a positive result multiplied by the leftover positive 3, which gave you the positive 30. So, some people like to say, hey, if you have an odd numbers, if you have an odd number of negatives being multiplied together, the answer will be negative. If you have even numbers of negatives being multiplied together, the answer will be positive. So anyway, that was a tough lecture. So next we're going to go on to another tough lecture, which is division with negative numbers, right? All right. Anyway, we'll see you all again soon.